your questions I've asked you and all your feedback and answers. Um, this is actually our last question of the day All right. Uh, that we have, and then when you're done, you're free to go. Um, so the first question I want to start off with is kind of, what are you majoring in, David? Uh, well, lately I've been thinking about it. I think I'm going to change my major to uh, industrial psychology. Industrial psychology? Mm -hmm. What all is uh, that a major in Cal? Like, what all do you do? Well, the main idea behind it is that, like, um, basically think of an industrial atmosphere and then put psychology into it, and you're just watching the workers, seeing what they do, how they react. And, um, for me, I want to work in human resources, and so this would be a good opportunity for me to kind of learn how the work, uh, the work atmosphere kind of connects with the psychological ideas. Mm -hmm. huh. That's pretty interesting. That's a unique major. Um, cool. Well, I asked you that because, as you know, at the beginning we talked a little bit about the world, and we talked about some of the problems that are going on, as well as we addressed Bulgaria in particular, because that's the country that I was given for this class. Um, one of the things in particular we talked about for Bulgaria is that they're struggling with corruption um, in the government, and it's affecting the people. Um, as well, uh, some of the other problems that they're having is um, they're taking out a lot of loans to cover some of the expenses that they have, um, and that's bringing debt um, upon them, um, as well as uh, we talked about gender equality. Uh, that was one of the development goals, is that um, they're trying to bring development or, um, gender equality to all countries and being able to empower women. Um, that's actually something that Bulgaria struggles with and is giving that equality to, to women, um, as well as pollution uh, within the country. Uh, within the European Union, Bulgaria is looked at as one of the most dirtiest um, air quality of countries um, in the Union, and that's become a big problem for uh, the country, um, and especially the people and their health. Um, and so I guess with your new education um, and studying to become uh, engineer in psychology, or super industrial psychologist. Yeah, industrial psychologist. I guess, what do you feel you would do to kind of help Bulgaria with these challenges? Well, knowing that the air quality out there is, is poor, and also the fact that um, women women aren't offered as many jobs as men, is that mm -hmm. true? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd, I'd go in there and I'd see uh, what kind of uh, abilities and that I can pull from the women, what kind of um, things that they can that they can do to, to see if we can probably start with the, the dirty or the pollution of the country and then kind of give them an opportunity to, to start working in an area. Kind of, my idea is to give everyone a chance to work in something. And like you're saying, this would be a good spot to, to start with the pollution, to find a way to, to get a business going in that that cleans up the pollution, and then from there we could begin to see what kind of uh, work we can give to, to more and more people, see if we can expand to education. I mean, um, I know uh, women can, can always be great educators because they actually have more compassion towards their students. Yeah. At least that's that's how I, uh, that's what I believe because I grew up with uh, some wonderful, uh, wonderful elementary school teachers that, that helped me to want to be more compassionate towards others because it's, it's, yeah, they love us. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, um, I think that's how I would start, give, uh, give my job out to people, or find a way to, to create jobs, mm -hmm. especially for women. Yeah, I think that's, that'd be a good way to start, um, helping kind of empower the people, because, I mean, I know that personally, like, having a job, it kind of gives you more self-worth as well, kind of gives you something to work towards, and gives you more value as a person, um, and I feel that that would be a good way to get things started within the country to begin the, the people, I guess, to begin helping them become a voice for themselves, um, to help, I guess, overcome the corruption that they're facing, and, um, as well as the equality and uh, eventually the air pollution, and all those things that come along as people become empowered and have that desire to I guess, speak up with the, the voice that their opinions to other people. So I think that's great. 
Um, well, that's our final question, Maven. Uh, again, I appreciate all your help, and uh, this is Globalization 2.0 signing 